Witchfire is a game with very unique guns, allowing for multiple different play styles and builds. And today, I thought it would be fun to go through the game with each one, see what they're good at, what they're not good at, compare them to each other, and figure out which one stands king. Now, before we get started, I wanted to mention on February 17th, from 3 p.m. to 9 p.m., I'll be doing a stream. I don't know if my buddy will be there. He might hop on for a minute. And uh, it'll probably be on the finals. So, if you're interested, be there. Or be fucking square. Now, back to Witchfire. Today we're going to look at the Cricket. Now, the Cricket, initially, I thought was going to be the worst gun in the game. I definitely did not like this gun. Now, after using it fully upgraded, it is... Quickly, it became one of my favorites. This thing is so fucking insane as far as DPS and just the fun play style that it has, that it's it's just a ball. So, before it's upgraded at all, the gun kind of sucks ass. I mean, you have to be up in their shit. It doesn't do a crazy amount of damage it doesn't have that much ammo per magazine it takes a little while to reload and so on it's just not that great it's okay but it ain't great and then you level it up the first time and killing enemies generates extra witch fire essence uh which as far as like an actual gun goes in the late game that's a shitty perk but early game, it's pretty damn good, I guess. If you wanted to get this as your first weapon, which a lot of the times whenever I start a new game, it is my first weapon. Uh, and this is why, because of that essence generation. Uh, but as far as how the gun works, that does nothing for the gun. Level 2 is whenever this gun becomes fun as hell. Dashing right after the kill reloads the firearm. So, you kill an enemy, dash, it fully restores all your ammo, you kill another enemy, and so on and so forth. You kind of feel like a little fucking ninja, floating around the, the map, the battlefield, fucking things up as you go. Uh, and honestly, that perk makes this gun top tier in my opinion, but the next perk sends it over. Dashing right after the kill temporarily boosts the firearm's damage. Consecutive kills and dashes increase the damage boost. I don't know how high that damage boost can go, but I do know after a second or two, like literally two or three enemies, this thing hits like the fucking echo shotgun. Except rapid fire and never having to reload. This thing melts bosses, especially the first boss when he summons a bunch of minions. This thing's fucking nuts. So, all in all, the pros, high damage, sustained damage, being you never have to reload, uh, has really, really good synergy with lightning, frost, fire, it, literally anything. Uh, has really good synergy with some of the uh, pendants, or what are they, fetishes? Some of the jewelry. Uh, there's the one where getting, hitting an enemy in the face that's full health lights them on fire this is an excellent choice for that because fire makes enemies take more damage so you hit an enemy in the face the first time and then the second bullet normally kills them at least for a regular enemy so uh but the only cons are it's very low range and it's very low like you're gonna be running out of ammo every two camps uh, so if you find a way around that little issue, then this is a top tier gun. Now as much as I love this gun and I think it has insane potential, especially for a player that hits every shot, uh, I think this could be S tier, but being that the range and the ammo capacity are so low, I'm gonna have to knock it down to like an A+. <laughs> so. Uh, with all that being said, I think the next weapon we'll do is probably going to be the shotgun. So if you're interested, keep tuned. Uh, but if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. If you didn't, then don't. Either way it goes, though, have yourself a very fine day.
And also be at that fucking stream. I'm counting on you.